okay? My second time recording this video, but I don't care because we do what we gotta do to be successful. Thank you all so much for being here today. My name is Ambria Harty. If you don't know who I am, make sure you check out my social media accounts linked down below. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Today's video is about my upbringing in music. I thought it would be so interesting for me to show who I am as a person, my influence in the music that I will be launching. Just kind of give you that background and behind the scenes. What better way to start off this video than by talking about the influences that I've had in my household growing up. So I grew up in a Christian household. We listened to a lot of Christian contemporary music. We listened to a lot of black soul music. Kirk Franklin top vibes, if you get what I'm saying. So my mom came from Liberia. So we listened to a lot of African music in our household. We also listened to a lot of musical theater growing up, like Hairspray, Mamma Mia. Like if you, if you can think it, you can name it. Dream Girls, right? That was the type of content my siblings and I grew up watching. On top of Disney Channel, of course. <laughs> my dad, his influence influence came with listening to you know new edition boys to men listening to 90s music i absolutely loved that music growing up and i still absolutely adore that music today i also listen to beyonce and her come up my biggest inspiration and muse is beyonce so you know her b-day deluxe album come on you know you know if you know you know right so i was listening to that growing up and i also was listening to a lot of classical contemporary pieces the reason being when i I was eight years old i played violin for the first time i played violin from third grade all the way to my freshman year of high school from 8 to 14 or 15 i played violin i had the best teachers we were always in state competitions we were number one all the time i was the top in all city we were the number one in our state when i used to live in maryland and we were number one when we came to pennsylvania i'd be pulled from classes to be able to come down to do lessons in the middle of my academic classes and come back and continue the academic classes when i would come home from school my parents would make me and my sister because we both play violin my brothers play instruments as well they would make us practice until we knew our stuff we were expected to know the entire pieces coming back to school growing up in that environment growing up in that type of structure really helped me to solidify that foundation of discipline within my craft specifically with music definitely my niche in my craft has shifted a lot more right now into more vocals and mixing and mastering my own music which is great and I'm so grateful for that um, musical theory foundation that I had I learned musical theory by the time I was like eight years old still I'm open to learning you know musical theory is something you learn for a life time that foundation has really helped me to be able to progress to the level that i'm at today being the top in the state means that you have to work hard i love to practice i love to work hard i don't find it to be work i see it as something that i love to do if it's my passion if it's music i'm passionate about it i just enjoy doing it i don't see it as something to do i just see it as something i enjoy doing right and moving forward by the time i got into middle school i was in dance classes professionally i learned how to do salsa we would be dancing the puerto rican day parade um we were on television i was also doing African dance tribal dances when I was in my middle school too so I had so many different influences there's so many different areas I'm very open-minded I also was the sugar plum fairy and the nutcracker I was like doing ballet at the time it was so beautiful and once I start launching my projects you'll hear I use a lot of string ensembles in my pieces and it's just amazing to be able to listen to so I went to a performance arts high school and it was absolutely amazing I'm so grateful for that experience because it really created the structure and foundation for who I am today as an artist period I auditioned to get into the school as an instrumental major I got in thank goodness <laughs> I actually transferred over to theater because I at the time wanted to become an actress after seeing Lapita Diango win a Academy Award I was like I'm gonna be an actress acting is still a huge interest of mine as well when I was a theater major all of my friends were vocal majors my heart lied with music by the time I was in my senior year I was doing guitar classes I was doing a cappella groups right like i was in musical theater we would always have spring musicals every year but my first year audition didn't get in my second year i got into ensemble my third year i played a part of antonia in man of la mancha and my fourth year i was cinderella and cinderella <laughs> it was so beautiful to be able to be that character that part i definitely think i was one of the first black women to be like a main 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 lead in my school at the time one of my family members was watching the show and when i came out as cinderella for the first time on stage there was a little boy watching and he was like she's black i'm like yeah she's black of course she's black and at the end of the show so many young black girls were coming up to me and trying to take pictures with me and it was so beautiful to be that representation i absolutely enjoyed working with the cast 
I loved working with the team. I also was in the acapella group at the time. Our acapella group was called Chambers and Chambers Acapella was amazing. We had choreography, we had learned our specific acapella parts, we had collaborated a lot as a team together and we put our heads together and created so many beautiful performances. I loved performing on stage. We performed at this one competition called Acapella at the Rock. We performed Freedom by Beyonce. This is how I knew this was for me. When at the very end of that performance, we sung a note and then the crowd was cheering for us. In that moment in front of everybody, I felt what Beyonce feels. I, in my heart, felt like this was my purpose. I felt a level of happiness, a level of euphoria, like that I had never felt before. Being with the team and looking around and everyone cheering, I was just in the zone. I was like, yo, this is it. Like, I need to do this forever. And so having that experience was so beautiful. I'm so blessed to be able to have that ability to have these competitions. And learning and growing in these areas too has been my number one. I absolutely loved all the classes behind the scenes. I loved doing the guitar classes, the vocal lessons, all of the practices after school. I absolutely loved every process of it because like I said, it never felt like work to me, it always felt like something that I enjoyed doing and putting my heart together with other people's hearts, putting my mind with other people's minds and creating things with other people and other individuals who I also respected heavily. It was so amazing to be able to do that and progress and create art. If it's creating art, sign me up. <laughs> I was also in dance clubs. My um, freshman year and by the time I got to senior year I was in dance lessons again. I was fortunate to have training in dance professionally, I had training in vocals professionally, I have training in instrumental playing professionally. I play guitar, violin, still read music and have that foundation in music theory from a very young age and I taught myself piano actually. Having that foundation in with violin definitely set the tone for me learning the rest of my instruments. I definitely will make another video talking more about my influences in music who inspired me growing up, specifically the individual artists because that is something I can go off on a tangent about but this week's video was mainly about my upbringing specifically and the types of projects people collaborations I've done as I start launching my music you will see how my upbringing plays a huge part as I continue to you know build up my foundation as an artist and learn myself more I always will owe gratitude to the people that I met along the way, to the teachers that have taught me along the way. And this is just a huge thank you to, you know, the foundations that have been set. It's just interesting to see how the foundation of your life really leads into how your life unfolds. Thank you all so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you stay tuned for my future videos to come. Make sure you follow my social media accounts linked down below as well. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to drink your water. Don't forget to meditate. Don't forget to know your worth. Okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.